Hi guys, welcome to Little Wicket Railway. I'm Rob and in this video, we're looking at the Hornby Bluetooth Legacy Dongle and how to add wireless functionality to your Hornby Elite or Hornby Select controller. I love Hornby's new range of HM7000 decoders, especially the TXS sound decoders. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, then check out my review of those and I'll put a link up in the corner and in the description down below. But one of the key features is that you can control them wirelessly using the HMDCC app that connects directly to the decoder via Bluetooth. And I really like this app. I find it really useful when I'm filming because I can control things from where I'm standing rather than having to go back to the controller. And the Black 5 down here has a HMDCC decoder in it. And if I turn the speed up, we should be able to get it moving around the track. And from here, we've got control over all the functions. So we can turn the sound on and activate the whistles. And I've shown you this before in my video when I reviewed the decoders. So we'll bring that round and stop it back here. Turn that sound off. But most of my decoders aren't HM7000 decoders and they don't have Bluetooth built in. For example, this Hornby Tornado has one of the older Hornby sound decoders in it. It'd be great if I could also control this model and ones like it wirelessly from the same app. And in theory, that's what the HM7040 Bluetooth Legacy dongle will allow me to do. So let's give it a go. The first thing I'm gonna do is unplug the power from my Hornby Select controller and then remove the dongle from the packaging. It does come with instructions and you can find these online as well on the Hornby website, but basic setup is pretty straightforward. You want to find this socket on the back of your controller called ExpressNet and the dongle just plugs into there with a little click. Now we can plug the power back in. Let the controller go through its power up sequence on the display and you'll see we have an orange power light on the dongle. Next, we need to open the app on our phone or tablet and link a device. Press the start scan button and it will start looking for our dongle. You'll need to make sure the app has all the required permissions and that Bluetooth is enabled. But if everything is working as it should, then the dongle will appear in the ready to link section at the top. You need to let the scan finish before you try to connect to it, else you'll get this error. If it's not appearing first time, then don't worry. I've seen this before, and it's usually resolved by resetting the dongle by pressing the reset button and turning the Bluetooth off and on again on your device. But once it does let you click on it, then you should see a blue light appear on the dongle, which means that a Bluetooth connection has been established. Once connected, it'll ask if you want to import the default locomotive profile function map. And at this point, I'm saying no, because we're going to create Tornado in the engine shed and import the function map specifically for the Tornado TTS sound decoder. So in settings, go to the engine shed, click new vehicle, choose locomotive, and input the decoder address, which for my Tornado is number four. Then we can give it a name, and we won't be able to give our new locomotive a function map or a profile until we assign it to a decoder. You'll get an error if you try. So we just need to click assign now and select the HM7040 dongle. Now, if you go back to settings and click on profiles, it will take you to the list of available profiles. Hornby have kindly made available all the TTS sound profiles. So we just need to scroll down until we find TTS steam and then swipe along until we find the A1 tornado. We're going to apply that to the tornado in the decoder selection and click import function map. So that's tornado set up in the app. Let's give it a go. I'll turn the sounds on and then let's turn up the speed. So there we go. It all seems to be working. And with the dongle, you can connect multiple locomotives on different decoder types. So I've got my EWS shunter here. It's not got a sound decoder in. I don't know what type of decoder in it's got actually, but it doesn't have any functions anyway. So if I go back into here, uh, my engine shed, set up a new vehicle, a new locomotive. It's on address number three. I'm gonna call it class 08. And then we're gonna assign it to the HM7040. Now it's appeared in my um, controller and I should be able to turn the speed up on here. 
Hang on. Oh, there we go. It is alive. It's just on a duff bit of track. So there we go. It's off. So yeah, in theory, you can have as many locomotives as you want added on here. So that's really cool. And I can go for a walk and take this wherever I want and control all my locomotives. So there we go. That's the Hornby HM7040 Bluetooth Legacy Dongle. Pretty easy to use. And when combined with the app, it gives you a wireless controller for your DCC fitted locos. And that's pretty cool. How much does it cost? Well, they've got an RRP of $39.99, but they're usually a few quid cheaper at the retailers. And which controllers will this work with? Well, it will definitely work with the Hornby Select and the Hornby Elite, and it may work with other control systems that use the ExpressNet communications protocol, but Hornby aren't making any promises and they've not tested any of those systems out with it. What are the limitations of this system? Well, the main limitation is that you can only connect a single device to a dongle. But to overcome this, you can have multiple dongles. The instructions illustrate how you can use the HM7090 club adapters to add in up to six dongles, effectively allowing six devices to control trains. Another limitation is that you can't edit CVs for these dongle controlled locos like you can for the HM7000 decoders. If you want more information, then go check out the Hornby website. The product number is R7326 if you want to look it up. That's about it for this video. If you've used this or are thinking about using it, then let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will hopefully see you again soon.